Hey there guys, well here we are again. We're gonna be doing an exterior soffit and an interior ceiling on this barn door for Texas Barnominiums. So I'm gonna show you the process we're gonna be doing here on this exterior uh, soffit and the little bit different that's gonna be in the interior uh, ceiling for this barn door. Okay, so here we are installing our soffit in this front porch. These are PVD panels. It's going to be all along the front and back porch. So now let me show you once we're installing our PVD panels on this soffit uh, along the end where it emits with the PBR, we put a trim to, to give that nice finished look. All our trim on this soffit is going to be uh, Hawaiian blue and our gutter is going to be polar white. We're done installing this uh, PVD panels on this front porch. Up next is going to be taking some measurements and installing our trim all along the end of this soffit. All right, guys, if you're wondering how do we get a straight line on our sheets? Well, we stack them up and we take measurements and we pre-drill our sheets. This is for the exterior soffit since it is a flat surface. And on our interior ceilings, it's a little bit different and I'll show you how that goes. All right guys, so we're done installing our trim. Up next is installing the gutter. And let me give you a closer look of how it looks once the gutter is done. As you can tell, our gutter is polar white, like I was telling you. All the trim around the, uh, the soffit are, is Hawaiian blue. Our windows are polar white, corners are polar white. And we did the same process on the back side of this barn dominium, which is an 8x12 soffit. It's uh, really nice. It looks, I mean, all the customers love our, our soffits. It gives it a nice finished look on your porches. I don't know what y'all think. Let me know. All right, guys. Well, this is it for the exterior soffits. Now let's get to the interior ceilings. And let me show you what this is. So since this is a curved roof, we have to do a little bit of a different uh, process. Uh, we cannot per drill our sheets. So what we're going to do is uh, make a little mark that goes right on this sheet right here, which later on is going to be covered with the screws. So you will never see it. That makes us uh, get the center of this purlin and make a straight line. And we're going to be doing this on, on other sheets. Since it is a one piece end to end, we have to make uh, precise measurements. I don't know, only with a quarter of an inch to play with. So yeah, you always have to make sure on those me uh, measurements. All right, guys. So we're done with the first bay. Uh, this is how it looks on our on the lighting here on our PBC panels as you can tell there is a lot of lighting um, since it is the living area for this barn dominium and this is gonna be the process for the next two bays so we're getting done here on this interior ceiling but first, let me let you know that this has to be done in the second run since on the first one, when we come out here and build the building, uh, we cannot do it since the carpenter, electrician, and foam crews need to come in first, get it all prepped for us, and then come back around and we could go ahead and install our exterior soffit and our interior ceiling. As you can tell here on this interior ceiling, our trusses are exposed. That gives it a nice structural view on our soffits and our customers love the exposed trusses. And as you can tell on top there is going to be a pony wall and later on the electrician is going to come back around and install all the light fixtures and all that's going to be covered up. So th this is it guys. Hope you like it. I know Texas Burn Dominiums once they're done installing the walls 
and um, all the lighting. They're gonna give you a tour through this building. So, you, so if you haven't been following Texas Barnuminiums, go ahead. They have a lot of nice videos on their Barnuminiums. And hope you'll like this one. Stay tuned for our next uh, build for WD Metal Buildings. And here we are signing off from Mason, Texas. And hope you'll have a good one. We're about to take off. Laters.